Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Johto Cup. So I had a lot of fun here. This is me with these battles without taking a look at PV Poke, not looking at anybody's analysis or anything like that. I did stop by for one streamer's uh, stream on Twitch, which, you know, I, I, uh, <laughs> so I guess I did see a little bit of insight there, but I wasn't like there to study. I was there strictly for the chat because it's bananas. You know who you are. Got you blocked on Twitter, but that doesn't mean a damn thing. I already told you, folks. Just because I have you blocked doesn't mean I wouldn't, you know, see you on the street, hang out with you, talk, you know, chill. I'm not like that. It's just we got to block the nonsense. But anyways, here we are. We're having a blast, and I don't know which Pokemon's the showcase here. I don't know what this is going to be titled quite yet, so we'll have to see. But I feel like all of them did perform amazing. Azumarill's Azumarill, so it's not like, take, take a look at how good Azumarill is. Right? It's like, okay. Uh, we all know how good it is. Meganium, also amazing. So this team is going to be two kind of different themes here, which one was intentional, one was unintentional. The one being that I kind of was trying to go for was yellow. Meganium, I get it. I know it's not yellow, but it <laughs> kind of. Um, the second one is going to be, they're all shiny. It's funny about, I don't know, I say three or four battles in, I realize, oh, huh, this team's all shiny. Uh huh. <laughs> so we got the shiny power going on here, folks. As you can hear from my voice, I feel great. I feel great. All right, just doing those stretches. Like I said, laying on my stomach, arms front, head, forehead on my arms. And then while you're laying on your stomach, uh, legs up and then spread them. And then, <laughs> and then you, you put them back together. And if, it makes you feel amazing if you got a little bit of lower back problems. But anyways, you're not here to hear about all that. You're here to see what's good with these Johto battles. And I'm going to have to say this team put in the work and we're going to have some really good calls here. So if I had to pick one though, ooh, eh, Steelix, let's go with that. I, I don't know. It's just because it's a unique Pokemon, fun to use. It's not all, you know, all the time where you get to just throw in a Steelix in the battle and say, hey, take a look. So here we are. Meganium, of course, is going to be putting in that work. Azumarill is Azumarill is Azumarill, right? So let's go ahead and see what we have going on here. A little loss on the battle. So we did take out the Hit on top. We have a Mag Cargo over here, which is also taking a you know, good amount of damage still, right? We can go Earthquake, but I don't know if they're going to shield, so we're still doing damage. Shielding up the Stone Edge. They're doing a bunch. We're retreating because I just felt like, ah, let's hold on to that. Like I said, I'm a little lost. I think it's because of what we know they have. Oh, we don't know they have that. Okay, so they have a Heracross in the back. This is bananas. Uh, so what happens is you would think, you know, Heracross is close combat, right? And uh, we got Steelix, Steelix in the back, so you can pretty much kind of see where that's going with a shieldless me here. They're shieldless as well. So what, what's the plan? Got a full health here, but if they hit us with close combat, it's GG. So we're going to go ahead and bring in Meganium in hopes they throw a bit of energy here. Let's see. I highly doubt it. Yeah, so we're going to retreat. And I'm thinking, okay, close combat, right? So they got Rock Blast and Mega Horn. Okay, and we're taking the win with the Steelix at the end. Let's get it. Obviously, if they had close combat, it would have been bad, but they didn't. Next battle, we're met with a Skarmory here. And a weak connection. You love it. You love to see it. All right, weak connection. That's a possibility of somebody getting a third shield somewhere. Although it didn't happen to me today. Not for me, not for my opponents. So, yeah. Beautiful. The only bit of lag I did encounter was going to be when I had my Wi-Fi on. I only battle on data now. It's crazy. I don't know what it is. My Wi-Fi is not bad <laughs> by any means, but it's just this game's all out of whack. So they're going to shield up our Ice Beam. I think we're going to want to shield this too. Oh, letting it go. Okay. Because we're going to go in here with the uh, Steelix and farm up, but they immediately swap into an Umbreon. So we're going to go ahead and bring in our Meganium now. Obviously, going up against Skarmory is not going to be something a Meganium wants to see. But, you know, look, we're going to see Meganium take care of business with that Skarmory throughout this video here, so it's all good. We still do have Earthquake. It is part steel, and in this game, you could still hit flying with ground. That's it. <laughs> okay. It being part steel, you're still going to be doing an okay amount of damage. So going up against this Umbreon here, what's going on? All right, letting this go. They're swapping into their Skarmory, and obviously we shield this up, and then... I think we're just going to retreat into our Steelix. Simple as that and just farm it down with Dragon Tail. Now, there's several different quick moves you can use on your on your Steelix if that's what you choose to do. I don't think Dragon Tail's going to... Eh, it might be. Like I said, I didn't go on PV Poke yet. What's the preferred quick move on Steelix? Let me know down below. Although I'm just a click away. 
Um, anyways, we're going to see them having their own Steelix. We're going Earthquake and landing it. As you can see, comfortably surviving here. But Crunch is going to do a decent amount of damage. They shield it up. And now they're shieldless while we are shieldless as well. Uh, like I said, a lot of these matchups are going to require a bit of finesse on my end. And uh, just perfect timing here. So bringing in our Meganium, immediately throwing Frenzy Plant. We're loaded up on energy here. Taking out that Steelix. In comes Umbreon. Going for another Frenzy Plant. We're going to be taking the win here. Thank you, Meganium. We already know. It's a Community Day move Pokemon. So I could say, you know, Meganium was amazing. And it was. But I want to more focus on the Steelix here whenever it is in battle. So they're going to be retreating after we did see that Skarmory and bringing in a Meganium. I'm a little bit slow on the swap to my own Meganium here. So they're going to be outpacing us. It's not like we did some extravagant amount of damage with our couple of bubbles with our Azumarill. So we're down and I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to double shield to win this matchup. If we can align the Skarmory with the Steelix, we're looking good. And we're both just going to town with the Frenzy Plants back and forth, back and forth over here. So <laughs> let's see how this does end. And we got a shield out of them. We've used the shield ourselves. They're retreating, which is amazing. We're going to be building up a little bit of energy and then bringing in our Azumarill, which was actually a mistake. Yeah, I did not want to go into Azumarill. I wanted to bring in, obviously, Steelix here. So we'll just have to make do with what we have going on. That's fine. Although it's not the worst in the world because we did just see a Meganium and it's okay here as well. But the, the Steelix is still going to be taking a lot of damage from Meganium because it does have Earthquake as well as Frenzy Plant Spam. So let's just see how that does work out. So we're going to let this go. We do not want to use that last shield. We need to hold on to that. Going for a, a Sky Attack and we're winning this matchup. Beautiful. We don't have that much health. Coming in with Meganium and farming just a little bit, which is fine. Bringing in our own Meganium with energy ready to go and pretty much no health. We're getting the last shield, which is fine. We're going to easily let this go. And we're going to bring in our Steelix after they do take us out. Get in a couple more quick moves because they under farm. Very nice. Okay, okay, okay. You got me. And I do believe we will be shielding this up regardless. I mean, yeah. What do you got in the back? A Ariados. Okay, so this is great. <laughs> uh, we resist everything they're going to throw at us. They can keep on lunging. That's fine. You know, cross poison, everything. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We're still going to be able to win this matchup here, especially because I have no shield. So we're going to go for a crunch. I know they're part poison, but I was thinking, you know what? Whatever. We're just going to go with the crunch here. Building up a little bit more energy. And they're going to obviously keep hitting us with the lunges. We don't really need to worry about the Meganium. It's not going to hit us with a uh, Frenzy Plant immediately, right? So they're bringing it in. We are going to go ahead and throw Crunch, though, because we don't want to mess around with it. Taking them out and going for another Crunch in Steelix. There you go. At the end, closing it up for us. Looking good and taking the win. So I can see it doing a little bit better with a potential different quick move, but Dragon Tail still doing it for us. Next battle, we're met with a Mirror Match Azumarill. Let's see what we have. Now, for whatever reason, if you're matched up with an Azumarill uh, and you're using Steelix, you are going to be okay, I suppose, as long as they don't have Hydro Pump. If they have Play Rough and Ice Beam, Ice Beam is still going to be doing some good damage, I suppose, because you're part ground. But just hit it with Earthquake. If you do have Thunder Fang on your Steelix, well, you're going to be looking even better, right? As opposed to the not very effective Dragon Tail. But Dragon Tail just hits so hard, as long as it's not fair, you're Steel, right? So we're going to go ahead and go play rough. That's exactly what you want to be doing here, unless you're getting them down to this low. In which case, you're going to go ahead and go Ice Beam to take them out, as long as you know it's enough. And there we go, taking the win. In comes Gramble. Not too much farm. That's perfectly fine. Bring it in the Steelix. We do need to look out for close combat. They gain a little bit of energy, bring it in their Politoed. This could be problematic here. Now, it's all about what they have. If they have Earthquake, we're good to go. If they have Blizzard, it's not so great. So we're going to go ahead, I think we call it, and we... Oh, never mind. We shield up Weather Ball. All right. So since they're throwing another one, that's an indication that we do not need to worry about that secondary charge move. It probably has Earthquake. So like we've discussed in the past, once your opponent releases this energy and you know that they're not going to get to the other charge move, and maybe they just simply don't have the correct charge move, yeah, you're going to be able to gain a little bit more farm. And that's what we're going to do here. I threw because I don't really need to farm all the way up. And it's kind of starting to add up here with that charm. We don't really want to get too close to our health being too low bringing in the steelix and we just need to look out for the close combat they're going for a crunch as expected here but we're going to be able to get to the earthquake and the steelix again at the end taking the win for us let's go make sure you hit the like button folks i really do appreciate it see what we have for the next battle leading a zoom rule the entire time jump bluff and there it is so we already know it's going to have acrobatics more than likely Energy Ball is going to be doing a lot of damage, but we can easily let it go. Ice Beam, unfortunately, is not enough to take this little thing out here. Plus, 
our water quick moves not very effective so they're going to be able to survive we're going to go ahead and retreat because they did not use a shield and bring in our steelix energy ball is okay i mean obviously acrobatics is not what they're going for it's doing an okay amount of damage bringing in a mag cargo and we're building up to earthquake going for crunch come on show me the defense debuff i never get it while my opponents always get it it seems like and they're trying to farm us down here and eh, it's not the worst case scenario we do have two pokemon weak to fire which are going to be the beganium and the steelix obviously azumarill a little bit low on that health there so we'll just have to make do with it I think we're going to want to shield this up, yeah, because Meganium does, it just simply doesn't want to just go up against it. It's not, it's going to say it's not the worst matchup because you still have Earthquake and Frenzy Plant, but yeah. Letting that one go and they have a Lantern in the back and folks, could it be any more better than this? And I phrase that very weird because I don't know what's going on, but uh, I, you know, actually I kind of have an idea. But the show must go on. My body is just going bananas. I don't know what it is right now, but I do have, I think, some sort of like an adrenaline rush disorder where my body just randomly will just kick in and it's adrenaline and I'll just start sweating or you know what happens when you get adrenaline you just got this burst of energy and your heart starts beating uh, when you're in a tight situation that's good but when it just happens it's not because it's very odd you're just sitting there like okay got all this adrenaline what am I going to do with it I guess I'm going to use it for the commentary so I'm sweating over here I don't know <laughs> folks hit the like button before I before something happens and these videos don't come out anymore man my body all of a sudden is just taking a beat in anyways what's going on here we have another jump up all right all right let's go <laughs> i i don't know man i guess i had maybe too much coffee i just was like two and a half cups yeah yeah i guess i guess I can do it so this matchup here is you know kind of whatever it's not great for you, but they're retreating into an Umbreon. It looks like they're trying to catch an Ice Beam, but we throw the play rough. We're not falling for that. Swapping into our Megini because uh, we don't really want to be matched up with the Jump Bluff Flying and Grass type. So we're going to farm up extra here, knowing that we don't really need to worry about the quick moves. Letting this go as well and holding on to these shields. We're good to go. Foul play. Yeah, no pro. Oh, what the heck was that? All right. Um, they either didn't hit the bubbles or the screen stopped or something because that it doesn't do that little of damage i don't know if they have something planned oh okay okay all right never mind they were going to farm down with skarmory right simple Look, let's see how much earthquake does that's a good amount retreating because we want to hold on to it i mean i already know what's up in the front so we're good and i mean if, even if they hit us with brave bird here it's still not enough that skarmory even if it hits us with brave bird it's not going to cut it uh but they're retreating with energy which is something to consider bringing back that jump bluff here so we're going to go ahead and go for crunch we're still locked and we do not want to use that shield both of our pokemon are low but we have energy i do believe on most of them i kind of forgot already all right but we're up against the jump bluff here and they're hitting us with energy ball we're shielding it up retreating into our zoom roll trying to get to that ice beam let's go come on getting there but unfortunately not able to get it off which is fine that's that's fine we still got this meganium low steelix low but we're just gonna have to bring in the meganium they swap into skarmory whoa Wait, 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 wait. Okay, they shield it up. All right. Bring it in. Oh, man. I could have hit Crunch. Could I hit Crunch first? They go Brave Bird. Oh, boy. This is a... Uh, yeah, we're going to lose this one. It's going to be very close, though. So we go Crunch. I think we could have maybe won this if we played a little different here and there, but it doesn't really matter. We're not going to try to anal analyze the whole thing. They played well. Good game. On to our next opponent, and it is a Shadow Politoed. So... We only need to really worry about Earthquake, right? Since it is Shadow, it's going to be doing a good amount of damage. So we'll have to see. I think we do shield up once. And then when we realize they don't have it, we just kind of start letting it all go. Actually, do I just start calling it right off the bat? All right, we got to shield out of them once. Let's see. We let it go. Another. All right, yeah, they definitely do not have Earth. Yep, they're not going <laughs> to. So they have Blizzard on that thing. Sounds good. Going for another Weather Ball, starting to really add up. If they want a Double Shield Politoed, by all means, be my guest. Now, something we don't want to do here is swap into our Meganium right now, because what could happen is they could bring in a Skarmory and it's, we're screwed, right? So we're just going to go ahead and just let them take us out. That's fine. They've used both shields. But remember, they have Blizzard, so we have to keep that in mind. I'm going to call they have Blizzard. They kept going Weather Ball, right? So there it is, Blizzard. Very nice. We'll farm down now. Yeah, they're not getting to another Blizzard. <laughs> There's no freaking way that they have enough energy for all that. Yeah, weather ball me to death, I don't care. Well, not to death. <laughs> Before you go down to death. All right, so Umbreon, okay, no Skarmory then. That's a good sign. 
What you got in the bag? Something weak to meganium. So we're going to retreat because I want to hold on. Yep, exactly. So when you have a sneaky suspicion like that, and you know you're going to be comfortable and you got a shield, they're down shields. And they're, you know, coming in with something that doesn't seem like the best matchup. You're like, eh, what you got in the back? Something even weaker to what I have right now? That's why we, retreat, we retreated. So now we have the Meganium ready to go. Perfect. Because we saved it. Building up a little bit of extra energy. Taking out that Azumarill. And this is going to be a really fun, close battle here. I do believe I was thinking like, all right, putting up a fight to the very end. That's what I'm talking about. So we shield this one up. And a foul plays, it's not going to cut it, right? I'm like, all right, come on, man. All right, I like your your fighting spirit, but... And then they hit me with a psychic. Whoa, 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 well, that was close. Okay, <laughs> all right, I thought it was almost over. <laughs> and then they come out with that surprise psychic, almost taking the win there. Good game, very good game. Moving on to my next opponent here, folks. If you haven't hit that like button, make sure you do. And we have a, finally, a, just a simply comfortable lead. All right, this is going to get real fun here. So we swap, well, they swap into Ampharos. We bring in our Steelix, and you already know what it is. We have to look out for Focus Blast because that is going to, it's not going to one-shot me yet. I think a couple more, well, actually, no, it will one-shot me now, I think. We might survive with, like, a couple HP. But anyways, we take them out. They come back in here with their Umbreon, and this is just the best position to be in. Um, I mean, this matchup here is not, like, the best in the world or anything, but we won the matchup. We didn't use any shields. We still have a good amount of health. We're chunking at the Umbreon. Yeah, yes, please, and thank you. Let's go. All right, so I think I'm going to have a nice cold with ice, sparkling water after this. My goodness, I'm going to need it. Wow. All right, so, all right, they're getting to a charge move here. I think we're going to just want to let it go. I mean, there's no point to shield. we got a zoom roll back here, so let's see what happens. I mean, this is all over. Yeah, we swap. It's RPS. They're like, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, you got me. So, good game. All right. It's just the way it works. I left that in there because Steelix still showed what it can do. Let's go. Next battle. What are we going to see here? Hey, oh, bad lead with an Ampharos. So we got to get the heck out of here. Took me a second to think of what I should do. Like I described, you don't want to th use Meganium right now as a safe swap. You can. Go for it. I mean, be my guest. If the Scarberry's down, if you think they don't have one, then, you know, go ahead. But you're going to get locked hard and farmed. So they go Focus Blast. We shield it up. They shield up my Crunch. Beautiful. We get to another Crunch and let's see what happens i think they double shield yeah they do which is great perfect sounds good to me i'm not gonna i don't think i double shield yeah we're gonna let that go focus blast taking us out so that was just enough to ko us there which is fine bring it in the mechanium we're gonna farm up they're gonna be swapping into an eridos and i got all nervous because well that's strong against the two pokemon i have left steelix is gone it doesn't can't defend them anymore from the poison right so let's see what happens going for the cross poison doing a lot on the azumarill and uh, yeah, let's see what happens. We just got a shield. They have no shield. They wanted a double shield right off the bat with that Ampharo. Sounds good to me. So let's see. Going for another cross poison. And if you're thinking, wow, why'd you do that? I don't know. Thought I might be able to get to an Ice Beam here. So bring it in, Meganium. Now, here's the plus thing. Here's the plus about double shielding or wasting that shield with the Azumarill. Uh, they were not able to get off the cross poison. So whatever. Bring it in the... Gramble, they thought I was going to throw. No, 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 no. Now, I'm going to farm you down, and then I'm going to frenzy plant your Gramble. Yeah, so taking the win there. That was a close one. That was a good game. I still have two frenzy plants. Now we got one still ready to go. Let's go, Meganium. Put in that dang work. What a good Pokemon. And I used the wrong one. Did you see? Uh, I'm using Littlefoot. I should have used the one named PVP with more ideal IVs for Great League, but hey. Mistakes were made, and just so you could see, Max Attack is still doing it, right? Anyways, we're going to be going up against the Lantern. They're swapping into a... Was that a Jump Bluff? All right, sounds good to me. We're resisting flying, and Grass isn't necessarily super effective. It's doing okay amount of damage, but Steelix is just so thick. And here's the thing about Dragon Tail. It's a good, quick move, and it's just going to be able to continuously go and go and hit and hit with that. So, yeah, you know, I don't know. I, I'm sure other quick moves are going to be good. I'll give it a shot. Maybe we'll take a look and see what happens in the next couple of videos here. So we're going to shield. No, letting this go. All right, all right, all right. Miss call, miss call. We have one shield. Yeah, I don't think we really want. We're winning it. Yeah. See, I'm not, sorry, folks. I'm not in the state of mind right now. I need a cold drink. I need to lay down on my back for like a week. All right. They're coming in with Lantern, and I'm just hoping they think this is an earthquake. Is it an earthquake? You better shield. Yeah, buddy, we're good to go. Got that shield return. Bring it in Meganium. Easily letting this go. 
but we're not in the clear quite yet. Going for Thunderbolt. And bring it into Skarmory. Retreating without throwing. We need to hold on to that energy. I do believe this is the last battle. So again, if you haven't hit that like button, make sure you do. And I got a nice little showcase for you. Meganium's gonna put that Skarmory in its place. So we're gonna go ahead and go for the Ice Beam here. Obviously, you don't go play rough. Now, what do you, if you, uh, what do you want? Ice Beam, play rough, play rough, Ice Beam. I think you always want Ice Beam for this meta. Uh, Hydro Pump or play rough. It depends on the team, really. I, I just went with this one, whatever. Play rough, whatever, right? So we're going. I think Hydro Pump's gonna be really good for you, though. So, anyways, uh, but if you go up against like a Lantern, you know, you got coverage of that play rough or another Azumarill. They swap or bring it in Meganium. Now, Meganium's gonna have to take charge here right now and go for Earthquake and take out the Skarmory. Let's get it. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Turn notifications on. I'll be catching you all next time. Take care.